This is super exciting. I'm so proud of you. So first and foremost, thank you for having me this morning. Um, this is probably one of the most important um, parts I've ever played. Um, not just because of um, how strong of a role it is, but also I've, I, I've been performing with Jennifer Lopez for over 22 years. I started with her in 2001. Her very first concert was my very first concert as a backup dancer. Um, and so to come back into Jennifer's life to tell such an important and personal part of her life, uh, it means a lot, you know? And so once we started diving in, I knew out the gate, the second I read it on paper and auditioned it, I knew it was gonna be bigger than what I thought. But once I stepped in the room with Jennifer, once she helped me layer that character with her acting coach, with the director, Dave Myers, um, I could feel it. I could feel it. Um, it was adding up. It was accumulating. And then once we filmed it, there was moments where I had to pull away a little bit. Just uh, it's a very emotional, very heartfelt um, part of this story that Jennifer is telling. So, you know, the rebounds, we you know, we've all been there, you know, what I mean, and we don't know why they continue to pull you back. And so layering that character that I was playing with, like that softer guy, but then also like that psycho and. I don't know. It was it, it, it was um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot on this project. And um, I'm just so thankful to Jennifer for letting me tell this with her. Yeah. Well, that's my next question. What did you come away with on a personal note doing this? What did you take away? And you just said it. But what did you actually learn? I think from the project as a whole is just the, the reminder that, you know, we, we, we in the entertainment world, we live such a fast paced life and we hear about all this chaos. But what I took away from it is that love exists. You know, it's there for you at the end of all the chaos. Um, and just to kind of always remember to sit with self, you know, like what what is it that you genuinely want? What genuinely fuels you and what mesh, what message and what mark do you want to leave in the world? You know, when you're gone, you know, and I think that message of just love, love for self and then love for the people around you, I think was really important and really loud. Well, it's so important what dance does. Dance gives us so much emotion, so much tone. You can learn everything from one move. And for you as a dancer, what's important to you when you're in that space? And then how do you decompress from this journey you took? Because that scene was very intense and very emotional, right? Yeah. So how did you decompress from that after you were done? Because I've been a dancer for so long, I've, I've recognized how therapeutic dancing is, you know? Um, and when you're doing things that are the opposite emotion, which is this aggressive, uh, it is, like you said, important to decompress. But I think uh, what I constantly remind myself, I ask for God to give me what he's asking to come through me as a mover. I feel like I'm a messenger through movement. Um, and I just ask to stay completely genuine always. I, I always want to bring honesty to any move that I'm uh, interpreting. And I think I, I was just reminding myself in telling this story with Jennifer, just stay honest, just stay honest and committed to what story she has lived and written for the audience. What would you hope that male and female would take away from this project when they see this beautiful, beautiful story? Um, compassion compassion for what you're watching what you know instead of judging artists and and their choices uh just i i feel like as a as a society as people we just need more compassion and more uh caring feelings you know being thrown around as opposed to judgment and i think uh just we're all human and we might some of us might filter it a little bit better than others and hide it a little bit better than others but we're all human we're all falling and we all need a pat on the back and we all need encouragement you know if you can describe this beautiful story in three words how would you describe it this beautiful story hmm. love um fearlessness and compassion again you got it right. Well, thank you yeah. so much. I wish we had Thank you, time. Joy. And your performance is always fabulous. I always love watching you and continue doing great work. Thanks again. Thank you so much. I appreciate you.